Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Broken Fergus Lover. I want you to welcome a new guest to my channel, Gerard. What's up guys, how are you? How you doing? Doing good, how are you? He reached out to me a couple of times. He's a fragrance lover like myself, but there's a little bit of a backstory with us. I worked with his mother at Lester's. I've been working at Lester's for 28 years now, and I, I've known her for that long, and I know this kid mm -hmm. from way back then, and we reconnected on Facebook. Yes, sir. And I found out that he's in Red Lessons group, and, uh, and now we're here. Now we're here. So this is a guy who wears pretty much designer for the most part? Yeah, mostly. Cool. So I'm going to turn him on to some niche fragrances that he's probably never smelled before. Never. All right. So uh, <laughs> keep it right there. Brooklyn fragrance lover. Brooklyn fragrance lover. So, Gerard, how did you get into fragrance? Started when I was a little kid, you know. My dad wore a lot of cologne, so, you know, you always want to be like your father. He's like Superman to you. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I was like 10 years old, spraying cologne on. And all the little girls were like, oh, what are you doing? You smell so good. You smell so clean and good. And then, you know, since you're little, you look like you, you want to be like your dad, so you just take it from there. You don't stop. So, you've been wearing cologne for years? Since I'm 10 years old, and I'm 34, I'm going to be 35 next week. If anybody wants to give God, me uh, a birthday gift, he I'm likes taking, cologne. I'm taking. But you generally wear more designer stuff? Pretty much. But I got to tell you, when he walked in today, I was like, oh my God, you smell so good. What is he wearing? What is he wearing? Aventus. Aventus. He says you only sprayed three, one, two, three, but... Maybe five, maybe five. Maybe, see, I, I knew. I had squeak in two more. <laughs> it's, he smelled amazing, so... And he tells me that he gets a lot of compliments. He's your construction worker. I'm a construction worker for Local 79. I got grown men. Whispering in my ear because they're embarrassed. They're like, oh, <laughs> cologne you wearing, bro. What do you got on? Because, you know, they're embarrassed. But Aventus, 100,000% guaranteed winner. It is. I went it's amazing. To, it used to be my number one complimented fragrance until I wore Green Irish Tweed and I two weeks ago. Me. Ten compliments in a day. But that's another video, another story. Mm -hmm. But what are some fragrances that you like to wear? Like top I five love, or whatever. I would say Aventus, Fahrenheit, the old school Scotter, which they don't make no more. I like Salvatore Ferragamo Black, F F Black. She'd be a good one. Yeah, and I like uh, old school, they changed the old school Dolce Gabbana. Blue Cheers. suede Cheers, box. Brother. So when you say they've changed, it usually means that the company has reformulated. Very, it became like very like uh, diluted, like yeah. watery, lo it lost something. The oomph and the power that it had. It lost the punch, like it, you got the weak. So I figured for our first video, I thought it would be nice to enlighten you on some niche fragrances. So let's get sniffing. Let's go. All right. And please, I'm going to just spray it. It's all about the first sniff. This is for fun. I'm not going to do a dry down right. thing. He's going to give his first impressions, his first raw 18th Avenue impressions. And I'm right? going to be honest. I'm not going to lie to nobody. I'm going to tell you straight up the truth. All right. So I'm going to start with this one. It's called Baranda. I reviewed this I on BFL. That. Stephanie, you know Stephanie, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. She loves she it. She loves it? Yeah, she loves it a lot. All right. So there you go. Let's see. It smells pretty good. It's like coconutty. It's nice. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Doesn't blow you away. It's nice. This is unisex, right? Yeah. It's a it's a boozy woody. It's woodyish pineapple. It's really like no fruit. pineapple. Like That's you, the Aventus. Yeah, it's Aventus. <laughs> it's like whiskeyish a little. Yes. Bit. Right, whiskeyish. Yes. Not bad. Whiskey like barrel. It. It smells pretty good. So you you would be open minded to that. Yeah, I would I would I would think about that. All right, so let's go back to this one. Okay. This is something that I reviewed with Stephanie. Mm -hmm. It's called Nishan Fan Your Flames. They're French. No, this is actually a. Um, a turkey, a Turkish company. Really? Yeah. God bless you. Salud. Excuse me. All right. Out of all the countries, what do you, what do you, what do you think is the top fragrance? Like, France, obviously France, Italy. I love 
I love a lot of Italian perfumery. A lot. But and I, I, I meant to bring one. I gotta bring that back. Not that one. But French perfumery, of course, yeah. yeah. Definitely. But Italian perfumery. This is nice too. It's very boozy. It smells good. You get some. Now that one has coconut. Mm -hmm. And um, tobacco. It's very potent. Yeah, it's very like. You smell it right away. So, listen, you're here with me. If yeah, you don't yeah. like it, tell me no, you don't like it, decent, all right? It's decent. Would you consider wearing this? Um, To wear it? I'd probably rather wear the other one. Baronda. Yeah, I'd rather More wear feel. that. All right, we'll yeah. come back to them. Yeah, no problem. We'll, we will have the dry down smell because we'll leave them where they are. All right, let's try something from Zoology's Perfumes. This one's called Beaver. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> They've reformulated this to make it not as animalic right. as the original release. This was one of the first three oh, that came out. There's a real beaver on there. There's a real beaver in the tuxedo. A beaver with a tuxedo. <laughs> yeah. Look. There you go. All right, so. There you go. Let's see. Not my cup of tea. It's like bittery, like gingery or something. <laughs> no, it's very, it's, like it's very animal butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not my cup of tea. But you don't hate it, though. No, I don't hate it. I don't really hate too many fragrances. You're very open-minded. Like yeah, I'm not really, I really don't hate Typically, the masses, you know, they... Matter of fact, I'll tell you the secret. My mother used to wear, you know Clarins? You ever have Clarins? Sure. I know it's gonna sound funny for me because I'm a guy, but it came in. Uh, she used to have this cream. It was Clarins cream. It smelled like a girl, but not really. Mm -hmm. And I used to wear it. But it was more like a, a memory like, for my mom. I used to wear it because it just reminded me of her. I actually bought. Uh, they have the perfume spray from uh, FragranceNet.com. Cool. It was like twenty dollars. It was definitely worth it. And you loved it. I loved it. You'll definitely have to tell them the uh, high school teacher oh, story my God. in a bit. Oh yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right. So hilarious. This is an Italian house. It's called Suspiro. Nice. This one's called Accento. Nice bottle. It's beautiful. It's bottle. sweet. Velvet. Ah, velvet. Uh, very wow. nice. Very it's like nice. a movie theater scene. <laughs> Let's check this out. I had to give a double pump because sometimes the first atomizer doesn't come out. So this one's nice. So these are all niches, right? You said niche. Yes. It's not bad. Hmm. Maybe when it dries down, I might be it. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. All right, so, so far, Baronda. Yeah, so far, that's the winner. So, this is um, Serge Off Alexandria 2, which is the same person who put out this company, mm -hmm. Suspiro. Gorgeous presentation. Yeah, nice. It comes in a whole freaking box thing. Nice. Oh, get them off. Thank you. <laughs> Not yet. Well, actually, yeah. Guilty as charged. Mm. Love this one. No. The. Wow. Well, yes, nice. but I like that a lot. It was the spray that I had to go. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. <laughs> this one, uh, I like a lot. This is really nice. How old are you? I'm gonna be 35 next week. 35. Oh, we said that in the beginning, I forgot. Mm -hmm. How to remember. This is really good. I like this one a lot. Wow. Them two in the lead. Them two in the lead. Them two in the lead. Did we put on no, the other one? This is from my good friend Andy Tower. Did so signed it? I think so. It's like a signature. Dear Carlos, yes, Andy Tower signed it. Wow. My uh, Lair de Desert Marquee bottle. That's cool. Now, not to t give you any kind yeah. of whatever, but this is probably in my top five perfumes ever. Really? Yeah, for sure. That's a strong statement coming from you. So many stuff I've smelled throughout the years. So many imagine. things I own. But. He loves it. I forgot that he signed it. Oh my God. This 
strong, right? Yeah. Lasts for hours. I'm still in love with this one. Those two. It's nice, but those that one got that one's like I don't know, sweet. Like there's something about it. It makes you want to keep going to it. This one right there? Yeah. Alright, so I think we're gonna wrap up with this one mm -hmm. and I'll get some other ones. Yeah, no problem. I was waiting for the the big reaction. You yeah, haven't wow. given it to me yet. What the hell is that? <laughs> Who the hell wanna smell like that? <laughs> so yeah, this, my nose is very like open mind. I'm not very like Nothing like an open minded no, nose. Good no. stuff right there. This is Hyatt from Kemi. Also by the guy who bought you Sospiro mm -hmm. and Sergeoff, Italian company. Italian. This guy spares no expenses in presentation. Just goes all out. Uh, the best. My type of person. We don't like cheap people. But the potions are varying, to say the least. Well, you, are these like older ones or are they recent? Within the last three to four years. This just came out within the year. This is recent. This is about two years ago. This is about two years ago. So this is close. seven years ago, and this is a year ago. Mm, not my cup of tea. You don't like it. Mm -mm. A lot of people say that it smells like a very amped up Tom Ford private blend oud wood. Have you ever smelled that one? Yeah, it does, kind of. It smells bitter, a little bitter. So bitter means he don't like it. Not on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep it right there. We'll be right back with some other fragrances. And welcome back to part two of BFL and Gerard. Hello. So, I pulled some more stuff. Let's see if he likes it. He's usually into designer stuff. But even though he knows a lot of designer stuff that I don't know, like you mentioned Paul Sebastian and, Old school. and um, the Escada. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't wear a lot of that stuff, but... Would you wear back in the back of the day? Would you like it? You're an obsession guy? I wore obsession for a lot of years. I wore jupe for a lot of years. I wore CKB for a lot of years. I wore Halston Z14 oh, for a lot yeah, of years. Yeah, I remember those. But that one's totally watered down. It looks like a little, like a, a round brown yes. like thing. It's like invented in, in the, the middle. middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's old school. Much of the old school wise guys in the neighborhood. They used to wear that in Paul Sebastian. He just brings those, those, you know Brooklyn, what? those Brooklyn memories. I can't explain. The guys in gold chains always smell good on the they did. Always did. Let's check this out. Boy 1920. Relativamente oh, it smells, rosso. It smells sweet. Like caramelish a little bit, no? Not bad. I like it. That one needs to settle down, so probably put it down for a little bit. Put it right here. So, well, well, before we get back into this, tell me that, tell them that story that you told me about the, uh, the high school teacher. Here's the true story. It was maybe <laughs> uh, high school. It was maybe like the second year of high school or the first year. I don't remember. It was such a long time ago. One of my teachers, her name was Miss Villa, Italian lady. <laughs> so she comes up to me. Good looking Italian lady. Real cute, real cute. I'm not really into Italian girls, but she was pretty hot. So she walks by me every day and she starts smirking. So I was like, what are you laughing at? I go, what's so funny? She goes... No, 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 it's just you. Because every day you walk in here with your chain. No, I was a Guido back then. You know, the Italian style. She goes, you were a Guido. I'm still a Guido. She <laughs> goes, you smell so good. What is that? I was well, actually, what cologne was I wearing that day? It was Curve, actually, from Liz Claiborne. You know, Curve yeah, was yeah, a big yeah. hit back then. So I said, I'm not telling you. She goes, why not? I go, if you want to date me, I'll tell you. She goes, you can't talk like that in here. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> what does she do? She calls my mother. She goes, Miss Amato... Your son's trying to pick me up. He wants to take me to dinner. And my mother left, but... Boys will be boys. I never told her anyway. I told her you have to go on a date with me first. <laughs> Was it awkward after that moment? No, I still try to pick her up. I didn't care. I still ask her on a date. True story. And then she asked me every day, but then I eventually started becoming cool with her. She passed me. I never failed. I had 80s. I didn't even do anything, and I passed. Comme de garçon Avignon. French? Um, I, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Oh. It's very strong. And you just mentioned something before, which it should. Re this is the reason why I picked this one because you spoke of. This is totally one thing. Like when you walk into church. Yeah, it smells like a church incense. Yeah. I want to tell my sins right now and smell this thing. <laughs> right? You're, You're the name of the <laughs> 
If you like church smell, this is it right here. I love this one a lot. And I actually never... I had the can for many years, and I wore it just at home and stuff. Right. But one day I said, you know what? I'm getting a, get a bottle of it. I, I want it. I love it. I wore it to work, and I got like three compliments. Really? Yeah. Like, the girls know, like... What is Carl's warranty? Like, they, they... I think they expect it now. You're like a walking air fresh. They want to smell you <laughs> as soon as you walk in. Something like that. So, this one right here is from... Serge Luton's. This is called Shaggy. This got a lot of hype back in the day. It's a great fragrance house. What year did that came out? Recently or? Um, this was, no, no, this is maybe like, I don't really know. Maybe like nine years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. You stumped me. <laughs> Making me look bad in front of my subscribers. No. Hmm. Check this out. But this was all the, sh the rage. Oh, this is pretty good, actually. <laughs> you see? <laughs> I like it. He likes it. I love it. It smells good. Like, for me, the things that got you most excited so far was this one. Yeah, that one's awesome. And this one. Yep. Them two in the lead. Now, this one's not really niche at all, but... I'm just being nosy. I used to smell it. <laughs> he I picked it up it. and I said, oh, we should smell that. Let's see if you like it. He never smelled it before, so... I like the bottle. 24. 24 gold. I've seen a lot of reviews on that one. Vanilla, amber, mm -hmm. oud. You're not a vet of a fan, right? Maybe some not my favorite note, no. I don't hate it. It depends, but. Out of all the vet of the ones, I like Mugler. Oh, uh, Cologne. But it's a little light, so I wish it was a little. You have to put it on. Yeah. But I don't mind, like I was telling you before, yeah, like, yeah. if it. Whereas, if it, if it has short longevity, I don't mind spraying again in four hours. No problem. I like it. You like it. it. Smells good. You can get this one for cheap. Yeah, right, it's cheap now. It's hard to get, but I went to Fragrance Snap, they sold out. Um, there's Nothino, and there's the other one. You hit or miss. So this is Mancera Lemon Aoud. It's a nice bottle. Oud Lemon Mint, excuse me. It's a nice bottle, right? With yeah, it's like shoes. fades, I like that. Speaking of faves, we got faves. Yeah, you know, my hair I look sharp when I came here. Looking sharp and shit. <laughs> he's holding back. I'm coming. I don't told him you can't curse. Now he's being all shy and all. No, I'm gonna. Like, I'm gonna. I'm getting warmed up. Don't worry. I got more stories for you. One more. <laughs> Have another drink. It's nice too. It's like sweet, but like lemony. Refreshing. Yeah, it's refreshing. This is a great one. This was on my uh, list with Steven for. Top fragrance suggestions for spring. Mm -hmm. I think it's really well done. I like it. You like it. He likes it. Hey. I was gonna bring cannolis, but why? I was, you I asked me. I know. I, I said ask. no. You're not to bring nothing. But he bought me a bottle of Moscato. I hope you like an it. An Italian fancy one. Mm -hmm. I will like it tomorrow <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm not drinking scotch. All right. So the last one, which is Powerful. I'm known for. It's his favorite. Yep. It's not really Tom Ford, Black Orchid. It's really Amber Absolute that I love from Tom Ford. But let's see what Mr. thinks of it. Let's see. Out of all the Tom Fords, that's your favorite one, right? Yeah. But I love a lot of them. Tuscan Leather, Tobacco Vini. It smells like something like we smelled before. Similar. It's it's intensey. It's it's yeah. very it's very robust. That's your favorite the incensey stuff. Yeah. You like it. <laughs> it's nice. It's good. You don't love it. It's all right. It's this in my room wow. or whatever. All right. So, all right. We'll come right back and we'll pick his top three to five. Okay. We'll see. Keep it right there. So, talk to us. What do you like? I what love, do you love? I love this one. This one's good. I love this one and this one. But you ultimately like love this I'm one. I'm leaning. I'm leaning towards that one. That one catches my nose. Why? I don't know. That like a sweet smell. It reminds me of my childhood for some reason. Like I don't know. Just like for me, this goes very powdery on my skin. I love powdery smells. So that's why. And this was the biggest hype back in the day. Mark Robes. Pump this, um, Cody probably pumped this. 
you know, I like it. This was way before I started reviewing, but um, I still have it in my collection. So Shaggy by Serge the Let me explain that myself. Who would ever know? I I would not think this would be the see? one. Ah, oh, oh this is that really first good. smell is like honey tobacco, and very full, so full. I love it. And so it's much. smooth. It's very yeah. smooth. Look, I like it. Just when it dries down a little, it's like powdery and it's like smooth. It's not like rough on the nose. Listen, you've been a good guest. You like what you like. You like what you do, you dislike what you don't like. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I always say to people. Like, even if I review something negatively, you should go out and smell it for yourself because you might like it better. Right. Like skin chemistry is different. Right, right, and, right. Um, so, but um, yeah. Let Everybody's me smell this. different. You spray, spray this on your skin. Where is it? But there's something weird about it. It's it's kinda like listen, you rock um Fahrenheit, right? I love Fahrenheit. There's some kind of like gasoline smell or something odd, but like you said before, like you keep coming back to it. It's like it's like it's so different and weird that it's like, yo, what is that? Like you're trying to figure it out, so you keep going to it. Yeah. It's like you know a lot of colognes like like especially these days, I feel like a lot of colognes smell very similar. They all have that same, very close scent. So, Fahrenheit, to me, is one of those smells like you can't mistake it for nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like a lot of home smells smell like that one. It's like, uh, it's like the Yankees to me, Fahrenheit. You can't mistake the Yankees for no other team. Mm -hmm. Fahrenheit's one of those smells like, no matter, from my age, I'm 34, from like, fifth, from that age group, you can never, it's like that smell, like you can't, you can't replace Fahrenheit. You just got that. That thing about it. And with that said, I need to go back and smell Fahrenheit. It's pretty, See? Like, I liked it back in the days. I think it was in the 90s. I, I think was, 92 it came out, 94. I was in my 30s. You mm -hmm. were, like, young at that I think time. I was, I was, like, maybe 10, 12. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and you know about Fahrenheit? No, I you wore it later. I started wearing it when I was, like, 15 or 16. <laughs> okay, so there's a reason why he wound up at BFL Channel. See? He loves fragrance. He maybe doesn't know... Niche fragrances. I'm learning. I'm learning. And um, I hope I'm teaching you well. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carlos. You're the man. So um, thanks for watching. And um, until the next review, take care. Take care, guys. He's learning that stuff has changed. He said they changed it, but I, I told him that yeah. it, I'm like drunk yet. Yeah. <laughs> when it settles. So, you know, sometimes paper strips are very misleading. I it's always it. best to smell on your I'm skin. I'm going to be right? honest with you. Every time I go to like Centuries or anywhere, like the Ferragamo, I've never even seen it. I just smelled it and I got in the car and go, what is this? <laughs> you said, wait, what did you say? Almost smells like? warm up. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the new one. Um, Salvatore Ferragamo. Smells like a bakery from 18th Avenue. It's <laughs> like they're baking cannolis in the back. <laughs> It has it has a tiramisu note. That's why. Yeah, tiramisu. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, but I, it reminds me of too dessertish, like too sweet. Come on, Gerard, we gotta clean up. So what's that one you don't like? Avignon, Avignon, and incense. <laughs> I can't do it. Things like gasoline. Incense, Avignon. 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 I'm not French. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Cut that off. Put it on pause. <laughs> we have th four. <laughs> right. I feel like all the colognes like the. Like, as a kid, when I started wearing them, they changed. Like, nothing smells the same no more. They reformulate everything. It I don't sucks. Know why. That is one of the biggest problems in Fracom. Why do they do that? Because, you know, sometimes materials become obsolete. I don't know. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's just. I agree. Like, I, totally, at, I totally agree. Look at Joop. How you pronounce it? Joop? Joop? I, I say know. Joop Brookenstein. I honestly. went through a bottle of that back in the day, too. That cologne I used to wear at Ultra High School, no, it stayed on you for two days. Versace oh. Dreamer. <laughs> I, I never, I never smelled that one. You don't, you don't have, you don't have it. I just, no, I, I never smelled it. I don't oh know. my god, it's tobacco-y. It's like very, it, it smells like incense. I love that. I love, I love Versace. That, I love. But I remember when I was like in the tenth grade, me and my boy, true story. His name was Johnny No Neck. He was a fat kid. <laughs> Johnny No Neck. Johnny No Neck. <laughs> he had no neck, so we called him Johnny No Neck. Like this? Just like a turtle. He had no neck. <laughs> We took him, we went to Macy's in King's Plaza when you had to be careful if you were going to get robbed on your way out. Now King's Plaza was yeah, back Yeah, of course, there. yeah. 
Versace Dreamer, it was $98 for like a, a 3.4 ounce. It was a nice looking bottle too. Yeah, it had like the Versace, the, yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice chiseled thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, bo the box had like, 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 like a moon, like the sky. Some kind of like the moon. The moon in the sky. Something like that, whatever. You're very far away. Come closer. It smelled great. Yeah. Now yeah, they redid it. Now they redid it. Terrible. It sucks. It's, it's ruined. It's reformulated. I cannot say reformulated when I've had more than one scotch. They drink. ruined the whole thing. So I don't know why, but that's what they did. But during the outtakes, you smelled something and you sprayed on yourself. Uh, yeah, it smelled the uh, Invictus, Invictus Aqua. Aqua. Smooth, very smooth. Very Definitely smooth. a summer smell. He says it's smooth. Definitely if he says it's smooth, it's smooth. How do you feel about Aqua the Geo original? You like it? It's a classic. No, 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 I don't care. It's a classic. I love that one a lot. I love it. I love it a lot. I actually have a bottle which I never wear. 